What's up, y'all? This is the One Nation Podcast 8 says 4. You tuned in tonight. And um, we got to, we're going to speak from the heart tonight, all right? We got some things to talk about. But we're going to get right to it. But y'all know how I like to groove out. That's that go hard. Everything you want in life, man, if you ain't got it yet, you got to go harder to get it. Just grind to get it, baby. One. Like I say, this is the One Nation Podcast 8 says 4, man. And um, I had some things lined up for the podcast. I had some, I had a dope topic lined up for my son this weekend, but something caught my attention this weekend and it came across my mind and we're going to talk about it in a few minutes, you know what I mean? Excuse me, y'all, these braces killing me, but we're going to get through the pain and we're going to talk about it. Because I'm just going to shed what's on my heart. You know what I mean? So let's get right into it, man. This is the one, excuse me, this is the One Nation Podcast 864. And we're gone. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing tonight, man? This is the One Nation Podcast 864. And um, we're going to get into something. Um, let me say this. I had a podcast lined up about respect. Take my glasses off. Respect was going to be the next thing we talk about on this podcast. But unfortunately, when things, I switch things up, when I see there's a need to talk about things, something happened to me yesterday. And I, um, <laughs> whew, I'm here to talk about it. You know, we talk about nothing but positivity. No negativity on this podcast, man. You know, you won't get it from me. But I think this is something that I want to I wanna talk about, okay? So if y'all can just bear with me for about 25 minutes, 20 minutes. We're going to get straight to it. So let me get myself. I ain't going to do myself wrong. Let me give myself a round of applause when I'm on here by myself. But we're going to get to this, man. Okay. How many of y'all out there been know about know about storms? And when I say storms, I don't mean um, thunderstorms or tornadoes. No, I mean like real life storms that you go through in your life on a personal level. Y'all know about them. If y'all know about them and you you know all about them, give yourself a round of applause for real. I'm going to tell you why in a minute. Okay. Um, I've been dealing with a personal storm for about, mm, I'm going to say about three years now. And I think it really opened my eyes and came to a halt yesterday. Um, I just want to share to y'all what this storm been, what, the, what this storm is and, and what it has done to me. Okay. First off, you know, we got to do what we say we, we, we supposed to do by all means. We got to put God first, right? So we put God first and we keep on pushing. But this storm here has been one that's battled me for a while, you know, and I try my best not to let it get to me, but it's been messing with me for a while. So, I just want to say, first off, I was born the only child, okay? So, if I call you family, I mean it. You know what I mean? If I call you my sister, I call you my brother, I mean that. Now, I got a lot of cousins, but <laughs> by all means, we deep. You know, from my dad's side of the family to my mom's side of the family. But I don't know if y'all know, but sometimes they say blood is thicker than water, but that's not always true. How many of y'all know about that? If y'all know blood ain't always thicker than water, clap your hands. Okay. I never really talked on this, but I'm, I'm going to speak on it now because somebody told me in order to move on, in life, you have to close a chapter to a door that's been open. 
And I didn't really know what they meant. And I, I thought I had closed this door, but I really hadn't closed it. So tonight, I'm going to close it with you all. I'm going to close it right here on the One Nation Podcast 864. We're not going to speak on what was what, but we're just going to go right into it. Okay, now, like I say, I was born the only child. If I call you my brother, I call you my sister, I mean that. And to be honest with you, man, I've been fighting this thing of trying to figure out where I went wrong in people's lives, right? And I've been battling it left to right. I've been talking about it, just sitting back and just beating myself up. To be honest, I really even felt like at a point that I was the problem all the time. You know, and if I'm the problem, by all means, that old me used to be real selfish, didn't care, didn't, if I'm the problem, it is what it is, I'm still here. But as I grow and mature, if I feel like I'm a problem, I feel like I'm a threat, or I feel like I'm causing you to be uncomfortable, I simply step away. I simply back away, man. That's what I do. I don't sit and try to fit in. If I feel like I'm the problem, I get away from it. That's just what I do. And I have come to terms like the saying that people come in your life for a season and go on the next. That's really true. Because I was sitting up here expecting people to, that I rock with to be in my life forever when really in, in reality it don't work that way. Y'all know that by now, right? If you know that by right, if you know that by now, give yourself a round of applause. But my thing is, I've been battling like in my in my head, I've been like, okay, why this person don't deal with me no more? Why this person don't do this no more? Why this person don't rock with me no more? And I can't come to find out like why. Like I literally literally man just have been depressed and stressed out about a lot of that because i had some people in my corner i thought was real i had some people in my corner i thought they'd ride with me i had some people in my corner thought they'd be happy for me but in reality it ain't like that but what's sad about it is it'd be your own your own people now mind you when i say my own people i ain't talking about my i'm gonna say some of my blood but i ain't talking about all my blood like i said at the beginning of the podcast if I call you my brother, you my brother. If I call you my sister, you my sister. And I just, I'm just shocked, man, how once I tried to better myself. And let, let's, let's, let's stop this right here. When I say better myself, I ain't talking about me starting this podcast. I ain't talking about me starting my brand. I'm talking about actually bettering myself. It's funny how some people just left. It's shocking to me because. I thought as we grow older, you know, we mature, we handle situations better, we deal with life a little more wiser than what we did when we was younger, and the goal is to see everybody win. I thought that was what we were supposed to do, but in reality, it's not like that. I had some people that I thought was cool with me that I think seen me changing, not wanting to do the same things over and over. And they just completely just cut me off. <laughs> I mean, for real. And little do they know, I still would have fooled with them. Because I don't expect everybody to be like me. I don't expect everybody to mature quicker. I got friends that mature quicker than me. You understand what I'm saying? So it's not like I got on my high horse. I watched my friends mature quicker than me. And then I became that friend that matured right along with them. But still you got some that don't want to see you want to see you make it. Don't want to see you happy. Think you're supposed to be caught in the same thing and doing the same thing you did 10 years ago. It don't work like that. You work so hard 
the change? Why stay the same? Why? Would you stand the same like you was 10 years ago? It's not getting you nowhere. It's not at all. So I think we all should want to better ourselves. We all should want to put ourselves in a position to win. We all should want to make something of ourselves one day, provide for ourselves, our families, our kids, want to see everybody maintain and win. But in reality, it's a lot of people that really just hold jealousy to a certain extent, man. It's just crazy. But you can't just... Why, why be jealous of somebody you rock with? You know, why be jealous of someone you call your brother or someone you call your sister or your best friend or your friend? You should want to see them win automatically. I got friends that have started businesses, man, and I'm supported. And all I want to do is see them grow, expand, and conquer their goals. Never talk down on them. Heck, I even supported them. And I got friends that have supported me. Now, by all means, I'm not talking about all. Because I done had some friends show major love to me. You know what I mean? And shots out to them right now. I mean, from the brand to this podcast. To doing, I got some people behind my corner. But it's the people I thought that would rock with me. It just didn't. And I, I, I struggle. I try to figure out, like, I, this is just my mindset. I used to think, what am I doing wrong? I used to think, okay, well, maybe I need to stop doing this. No, bro, this is you. This is my lifestyle now. This is who I am. And I'm not, I'm not better than the next man. You see what I'm saying? I'm not selling myself or putting myself above nobody. It goes hand in hand with my brand. I think, and I really do believe all of us are equal. I never tried to down talk the next person to get ahead. You know what I mean? I never tried to sit up here and say something bad about this person doing this or this person doing that. That's not in my character. And it's a shame that I lost some people I thought supported me when I started doing better. Now, I got homeboys and homegirls that tell me, T, keep pushing. You, Some of them tell me some things I can't stay on here. You know what I'm saying? But all jokes aside, in reality, they really right. I can't sit up here no more and just sit up here and worry about this person, that person, because they're not dealing with me, T. There was a part of your life. It's time for you to keep pushing. They moved on. You need to move on. And I'm telling y'all this today because somebody out there is going through the same thing I'm going through. Somebody's feeling the same. I'm not, mine ain't pain no more, but feeling the same thing I'm feeling. And when you're feeling that, man, all I can tell you is keep your head up and keep moving because everybody is not meant to stay with you forever. And trust me, trust me, the week will show. The ones you thought that was really going to be down for you, it will show you in the end. And especially what hurts the most is when you did nothing but show them love, support, and just had their back from day one. Yeah, y'all might have had a few bump in the roads, but it wasn't nothing major. But in the end, they still, they just leave you, act like you don't exist. So I know I'm not the only person out here going through this today. And going through this tonight. Because something was brought to my attention yesterday. And I just wanted to speak on it. And I just wanted to tell y'all. And give y'all a little motivation today. Listen to me right now. Tomorrow's not promised. So by all means. Leave. The negativity. At the door. Don't even think about it. If you like me and you've had somebody come in your come in your life and just leave for no apparent reason and you ain't do nothing and y'all been solid, I'm gonna tell you what you do. You don't stress about it like I did. And you don't try to figure out what you did wrong. You keep moving. That's what I learned. That's what I learned. I learned you put God first, like I always tell y'all on here, and you keep moving. You keep your head up. 
10 toes down, and you stay on the path God and provide for you. Simple as that. Because if you fall victim to those ways that they want you to, you'll never be able to see a success. We all want to be successful, right? We all want to be something. We all want to be somebody. We all want our kids one day to be somebody. But you can't do that if you're stuck in the past with the same mindset and same mentality that those left you have. You can't do it. Bottom line, don't stoop to the level. Bottom line, keep your head up, keep pushing. Because at the end of the day, to be honest, I'm just speaking to y'all. All you got is you. You got the man above and you. Because you can talk, let me, let me say this, you can talk to somebody till they blue in the face. Doesn't mean they listen. You can get all the info from me on this podcast to say, I'm going to do exactly what Rook said. I'm not going to stress about it. I'm not going to do this. But until you get by yourself and you was in that house and them four walls, you got to make a decision of your own. Okay, am I really not going to let this get to me or am I going to let this get to me? And I pray to God you don't let it get to you. I pray to God you don't let those people or those friends that supported that didn't support you bring you down to their level. You keep going, man. You keep pushing. I had to look myself in the mirror and actually tell myself that, okay? I had to look myself in the mirror and get myself together and you're like, T, I don't know what you're doing, but you need to get on your grind. You need to stop acting. You need to stop telling yourself this, that, and the third. Don't worry about doing no more. Keep pushing, bro. You done made it this far. You mean to tell me you're going to let something like that stop you? Ain't no way. Any goals you got, son, you're going to achieve them. Look yourself in the mirror and do that, man. But I had to talk on this subject tonight because I know I'm not the only one out here that feel this way. Well, I felt that way, but I, I, I definitely got it off my chest probably about a week ago because I, I, wanted, I wanted to talk about it last week, but I didn't know how. I didn't know how to go about doing it. So after something was told to me yesterday, I said, yeah, it's time to close this, close this chapter. And I said, what a better way to be, what a better way to do it than to do it on my podcast, One Nation 864. I closed this chapter with y'all, and y'all will see a new me, and hopefully I see a new y'all. Don't worry about those that have come and gone. The only one that matters is still rocking with you to the day you to the day you go and still rocking with you when you're gone. It's the man above. If God woke you up this morning, he opened your eyes, gave you the ability to breathe, get up, and carry on with another day, that's a win. That's a blessing. So what? Some people come and go. So what? Such and such ain't a part of your life and you ain't heard from him in so long. Whatever. So what? Think about the memories you had and that's it and don't look back. Don't look back. Keep doing you. Keep pushing. Like I say, thing when I say everybody is not meant for everybody, that's just what it is. By all means, man, don't let that destroy you. And like I say, blood is not always thicker than water. Because to be honest, when it comes to my brand, when it comes to my podcast, I've got more love from a lot of people other than my blood. That's God, that's true. And the people that I did get love from, you best best believe they're like brothers and sisters to me. And some of them are not. And that's just show you that people, people, it's other people out there for you. So don't hang your head over one or two people that has gone in your life. Trust me, as you keep living and life goes on, you're going to meet new people, new people, new people. They're going to come in and out your life for, for a reason, for a season. And when they do and when they leave and depart, okay, thank you for coming. Thank you for being in my life for this long time. I got the memories. You blessed me a lot. I tried to bless you. I'm sorry things didn't work out. Let's keep moving, though. Because life is a journey, and you're on it by yourself. only person leading you is God. So my question to y'all is... Are y'all going to let one person stop y'all 
from carrying on your journey or you're going to carry on this journey of life and keep pushing. No matter what comes in your way, you're going to run through it. Life is a blessing, but also, man, life is a lesson. Each one teach one, right? <laughs> hey, man, this is the One Nation Podcast 864. I hope y'all take heed to this. I love y'all. And just remember, man, it don't matter who come in and out of your life. No matter who it is. Love them for the time they're here. And if they decide to leave, hey, don't don't think you're to blame. That's just life. I hope y'all get this message tonight, man. Put my glass back on. <laughs> hope y'all get this message tonight, man. I hope this stuck out to a lot of y'all because it's definitely been something on my mind. Hey, man, but y'all know what this is. This is the One Nation Podcast 864. This is Rook. I was speaking from the heart tonight. I really do love y'all when I say that. Hit the like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'm sorry I didn't get Jay the Fly Guy Rooked on here, but he'll definitely be on here next week. But this topic came up and I had to talk about it. And from me to you, from 864 to wherever you at, this is Spotbird very own Thomas Christopher Rooker, a.k.a. Rook, and this is the One Nation Podcast, 864. I love you in my mouth. Peace.